Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in today's video, I want to answer a question. The question was put up to a random chat that I was doing with some of the student on Instagram and he asked me the question, Hey Hitesh, what is the difference between programming and coding? And although these are very similar terms, very interchangeably used at almost any given context, but still they do have their subtleties and some differences that I can point out. It's almost like saying that I write my notes on a piece of paper and somebody is saying I write my notes on a page. Although we do understand that piece of paper and page, they really want to say the same thing, convey the same thoughts. And that is true, that is okay, but still they are interchangeably used. Similar to that, programming and coding are interchangeably used and we do use them. But there are certain differences I actually can point out behind these things. Still, one of my main recommendation is not to go into too much of these things because they are very, very exploratory. You can explore them like quite in depth and ultimately you'll find eventually trying to get the answer of the questions like what's the meaning of life, how, can, how I can evolve as a human and all these things. So it's pretty easy to get lost in these thoughts. So, but still, I would like to convey some of the things about programming and coding. Before we go on this quest of finding programming and coding differences, I would like to make a statement here. The statement is pretty clear and pretty obvious that almost, almost all people on this planet currently are getting interacted with some kind of programming. And not just being interacted, they are doing some kind of programming. It looks like a very vague statement, but let me give you a proof. And rather better, let me give you two proof for that. See, this is the remote control of my air conditioner and I'm pretty sure that you have also used some kind of air conditioner or maybe TV remote or maybe satellite connection of your TV or your phone, anything. You, I'm pretty sure you have interacted with some kind of uh, these remote control devices. If you have used it, you have done the programming. Let me explain that. When I turn on my air conditioner, I set it to a certain temperature, let's just say 20 degrees. When the temperature reaches to 20 degrees, my air conditioner automatically gets turned off. So it knows that when the temperature of the room is around 20 degrees, I should not keep on uh, just making this temperature more cool. I just want to stay it there. That is some kind of programming. I have said through this remote control that after 20 degrees you can get shut down and I don't want any cooler or any hotter, hotter than 20 degrees. So stay in there. So I am programming through this remote control my air conditioner to do a certain task. And that basically the core concept of programming. Just providing some instruction for somebody to do some task when you want it to be and how you want it to be done. That's exactly the programming is all about. Let's take another example. If I pick up my world's most time consuming device known as mobile phone also, I pick it up and I set it up an alarm that I want to get up at six o'clock in the morning. And when I get up at the next day, I see that my mobile phone rings an alarm or a reminder that today is six o'clock and you might want to get up. But what I do after that is totally my choice. But still, I was able to program my phone in doing certain tasks that I really wanted to do. Now, programming is a very vague term. It doesn't really apply to just uh, for these devices and all these things. Sometimes you program somebody to just say, it doesn't sound, it sounds really geeky. But when you ask your friend, hey, I want you to come at four o'clock, he comes right exactly at four o'clock. You're programming your friends to do a certain task when you want them to do. It sounds a very geeky stuff, but yes, programming is not a world that was coined from the devices only. It was being taken from our regular day-to-day -day life. So you'll see that a lot in your life. So now that you understand the concept of what programming actually is, what's the difference between programming and coding? Do you think this remote that I put up a button, a rubbery button, and it just worked automatically? No, probably not. There is some kind of code going on behind. And code doesn't mean all the time that you have to write something in C, Java, or Python. That's a big, long lo logic and all those codes. It's not. Sometimes it's different in the visual aspect. Sometimes it's just a memory switch of flip off on and off, or sometimes just passing on different voltage of currents. Everything is just coding. But the way aspect and how you think should be pretty vague. 
So somebody has written a lot of gibberish code of setting up the temperature, turning it off and on, and setting the timer as well. That's all is programming and that is also known as coding. But in the term, if you want to really separate out the things, I would say that all the tasks that you're assigning is programming and all the code, all the gibberish that we write is can be put into the umbrella under the coding. So bringing back to my statement when I said everybody is programming, yes, everybody is setting up an alarm, changing up their TV station channels and setting up their air conditioner. Uh, these are all programming stuff that we, are, that we are doing and all these controls that we were able to transfer into any person, that's whole the coding thing is all about. Now one thing additionally I would like to put up is that coding is evolving and it's going to keep on evolving all the time. It's not like what the code used to be we used to write uh, 10 years ago we are writing the same and we will be keep on writing that also just after 10 years after that. It's not. It's going to be evolving quite a lot but one thing is for sure that some kind of programming, some kind of coding is now in our human nature. It's going to stay forever. Previously we used to write the code in COBOL or just to save or do calculation pretty mediocre kind of stuff that we see right now but it was really difficult at that time. Now we are on to a middle ground of the coding where things are getting more interesting and they have just getting started here. And eventually in the future it's not going anywhere. It will, there is no chance that people will stop doing these automation tasks. They will never do. Probably it will evolve to a different level. Probably the code complexity that we have to write is going to evolve on to next level. But surely it's going to, it's going to remain here. It's going to just change its form. One thing that I absolutely love about current state of programming is I can listen to music whenever I like. All I need to do is just to say, hey Alexa, play some music. Mm -hmm.